skating and uh, fell on my butt a few times. Yeah, I mean, last time I went ice skating was about two years ago. And when I was doing it, I got the gist of it. It was my first time. Mm -hmm. And I, halfway through, I just said, no, I'm just going to mess this around because I got sick and tired of it. And people started mm -hmm. laughing and everything. So, yeah, I got a good kick out of it. So, yeah, my weekend's pretty good, too. Cool, cool. So, yeah. All right, sounds good, man. For this project coming up, yeah, uh, I think I need some assistance. Uh, would you mind helping with, with that? Yeah, I mean, we were supposed to work with, on it together, and I know Steve wanted us to get in contact with him. He's not in the office yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on the budget sheet right now and and the balance sheets, so I'll send that to you, and uh, I'll I'll email Steve, and we'll we'll get on it. Sweet, sounds good, man. Can't wait. All right. You want some coffee, man? No, I'm okay. I just had some earlier today. Thank you, though. Dude, I totally need it. Yeah. Be right back. What's that picture over there on your wall, man? It's from my church. We did for our conference about two years ago. Yeah, I made that picture. Are you religious by any chance? What do you mean by religious? You know, like going to the church, reading the Bible, praying. Yeah, I, I mean, I do that stuff. I go to church, I read the Bible, but I wouldn't really consider it religion. Because what religion is, is doing basically a, ch a list of chores that in order to, for you to get rewarded but God calls us to do be different and he wants to be in a relationship with us and for us to be with him and spend time with him now when you ask me if I'm religious no it's I don't see it that way I see it more as a relationship very interesting man very cool yeah how about you do you, do you go to church well I've been to church way back in my old days um just taught some things didn't really receive much. Yeah. Um, but what you're saying is a lot different from what I was taught. Yeah. So, kind of gives me a light bulb for a second. I mean, we got some work to do. Let's let's grab a bite later, and I'd love to talk, tell you more about it. I'm ready. Let's get this awesome. work done. Yeah, let's get this work done. All right. The company's upper management made a tough decision to lay off some of the people in our workforce. And let me guess, I'm one of those people that you're going to let go. You've done exemplary work for us. I guess that wasn't good enough. And why am I getting this through a phone call? I apologize. My intent was to have a meeting with you to discuss this, but to due to bad scheduling, I wasn't able to. Please. I understand you might be upset, but we will do everything we can to avoid making this process unpleasant. Unpleasant? When I sit down with my wife, who is expecting to give birth in a few weeks, what am I supposed to tell her? I'm sorry. We've considered various alternatives, but due to our current financial situation, we don't have a choice in this matter. Consider this your two-week notice. We'll be sending you a reference letter for your future employers. We apologize for any hardship this may cause to you and your family. Take care. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. How's work this morning? Uh, it was a typical Monday morning office work, but I had a really interesting conversation with a friend about relationships, so that's pretty cool. Oh, really? That's yeah. cool. So are you here to show sandwich this morning? Yeah, that'll, that'll be awesome. Thanks. Okay. No, I couldn't ask for that. No, I mean, 
you can get me the next time. We run into each other a lot. I was supposed to grab lunch with a, a buddy and get it for him, but is it cool if we just chill out for a bit? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Before I came in here, I was on the phone with my employer. They were informing me that they're letting me go. I knew there was a problem with the company's financial, so I was trying to find another job. But with the current economy, it's difficult to find a full-time position with the benefits for my family. My wife is pregnant with our first child on the way, and I'm contemplating not telling her. I'm sorry, we just kind of met, and I'm telling you my problems. I'm just venting. It's okay, I'm a pretty good listener, but from my experience, the best listener and the person who has the power to change any situation is God. I, might, I know this might sound strange, but is it okay if I pray for you really quick? No, I can use some prayer right now. Please, come on. It literally takes 20 minutes for you to put up an email and send it to me. Yo, hey. Hey, why'd you step in my shoes? You are in my way. I clearly made enough room for you and your car to go by. Well, obviously you didn't. That's not even the point. You stepped on my shoes, and you're not going to apologize? What is the matter? They're just shoes. You could just clean them. Uh, I obviously spent a lot of money on these, saving them for the past year, and you're just in disrespect like that? See, this is why I try not to mess with these people. You guys are so materialistic. I don't know who you are, and you do not know who I am. So how are you going to judge me like that, bro? You know what? I don't even have time for this. Enjoy your life. Hey, who do you think you... I thought I heard something. I'm usually the only person here around this time, and the quiet allows me to sort out my thoughts. So what brings you by? Well, it's been an interesting day. I've had uh, different encounters with friends, talking to them, and I really felt the Holy Spirit working through me. And when everything seems like it's going right, it's like the enemy knows exactly when to push my buttons and there was this guy I had a conflict with and I got angry at him and yeah I just struggle and I start to realize that I struggle with struggle with being consistent it's, it's so hard having the same faith being consistent in all areas of life just one mistake and it just negates everything that you put forward in your faith. So I was, I was listening to the radio station the other day, 
and I heard a question I thought was really interesting. The caller asked, what's the po proper posture a person should be when they're praying to God? I thought it was really interesting. So I listened to the response of the pastor and it had so much wisdom. What he said was that God doesn't care so much about the posture of your body while you pray. What he cares most about is the posture of your heart. The Bible is filled with people who make mistakes. They're imperfect people, but what's, what they have in common is that their heart is consistently searching after the heart of Christ. They mess up, but what matters most is not so much their actions, right, but where, where their heart's consistently going towards.